Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for a day. So I had been not working from last three months because of my health issues. But now I am feeling well and I decided to give regular videos for our Nothing Phone 1 users. Meanwhile, I missed lots of videos to create like Nothing OS 2 Not 4 update and lots of amazing custom ROMs. So I upgraded to Nothing OS 2 Not 4 latest build but 2-3 days before I got this new Nothing OS 2 Not 5 update of 67 MB. This one has a small change log but today we are not just going to review the change log but also I will show you what some amazing things I have felt about this update. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. So I downloaded and started to install this update. If you still didn't got this update, I have given the link of incremental OT under video description along with the video tutorial link how to install OTM manually. You can refer that to install this OTM manually. So flashing has been done and we booted with the same boot animation similar like we got with the nothing OS 202. Now let's check out about phone details. So we updated to the new nothing OS 205. Build number is space T.0. Build date on the 10th November 2023. Last 204 build was on the October build. This one is a still Android 13 build. Nothing has already rolled out Android 14 beta 2.5 testing program. If you got selected for that, I will definitely release the review video for that video also. Security patch is updated to the latest November 2023. Last build was on the October security patches. Kernel version is also upgraded to 5.4.210. So basically, Nothing team did a very good job in terms of giving updates to the Nothing Phone 1. We are getting regular updates with the, all the latest sources with the major bug fixing, stability and the performance improvement. Now we'll see what the change log has added in the new update. First one is improved synchronization with the phone and headphone volumes. What this means, we generally see the slight delayed volume in the media when we try to increase or decrease the volume level using the Bluetooth headphones or earphones. But now there will be no delayed volume will be there. All the effects will be seen immediately after using the Bluetooth sensors to reduce or increase the volumes. Next, if you are using the whole Wi-Fi calling option, it will be available under the network and SIM setting. If you enable this toggle, we get the whole Wi-Fi calling icon. Actually, it's already available in the previous updates, but it's now more optimized in the status bar like VOLT icon. I also found that the carrier aggregation icon also visible like VOLT 5G or the VONR 5G plus in the status bar. Except some changes they mentioned regarding the performance and stability improvement, which is a common thing were mentioned in all the updates. Some more changes I found that I had shown at the end of the video, you can use the video timeline to check them directly. Now we will not only check the performance, but also we will test the RAM management of this update. So while running the Geekbench, I kept open 7 applications like Gmail, Wallpaper and Style application setting, Nothing Ringtone Creator application, Google Drive, Google Maps, Google Play Store, Asna Septinet applications. Next, I ran the intensive Geekbench CPU and the GPU performance testing at least for the 20 minutes and then kept the phone idle for the one hour. Here are the results of the CPU single and multi-core. They were 1019 and 2791 respectively, which are better one, nearly same as average results available in the database of the Geekbench. Then I ran the OpenGL and Hulkan Graphics API test. Here we got the score of 2309 and 2572. I will tell you the reason behind the good OpenGL GPU results at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Later I opened all the application that we kept running from last one hour along with the Geekbench. All the applications are there in memory which is very good sign of RAM management. Another new thing I found under the Glyph Composer setting. Here I got some new Glyph ringtone composer presets like Swedish House Mafia and Samfa. These presets have amazing Glyph sound effects 
which you can use to create something unique that will separate you from the crowd of nothing phone one ringtones. Next thing you will notice is the much more touch responsiveness and the fluidity of the new update. Here I tested the output touch sampling rate and they were constantly on 250Hz, making the device highly touch responsive and buttery smooth, similar like custom ROMs that you mainly prefer for the best performance of the device. Now let's reveal the secret why we got the best OpenGL graphics score. That we tested during the Geekbench test. I checked the GPU drivers for this update and it's upgraded to the best and the latest OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 530.47. Our channel has dedicated videos playlist of how to upgrade your device to the latest GPU drivers. You can refer them to upgrade your nothing for one GPU drivers above the version we got with this update and achieve the best gaming performance of your device. Soon I will create the community post of full battery results of this new nothing OS 2.0.5 update after using it for the 2-3 days of battery cycle. Next I will release the new upcoming beta 2.2.5 in-depth review also. So stay tuned to our channel. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my in-depth review of this new update. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel for notifications of all new custom ROM reviews, stock OT update reviews and the new amazing custom mods for your nothing phone one which will bring the new adventure for your device. Thanks for watching. Soonest time. Take care. Bye bye.